tutorial is going to help you get started on your Google Drawing self-portrait. So I'm going to start with an oval for the face. If you go here, you can change the fill color. You can click custom to create your own color. And the custom color shows up right down here if you want to change the outline too. I like to build all of the features off of the face and I'll show you why in a minute. For the eyes, you can use really, you know, any of these oval looking shapes. I'm just going to stick with the basic oval. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than I think that I need. Change the fill color. The iris is the colored part of your eye and you want the iris to be as tall as the white of the eye. And then I want to create a pupil also. And that would be the black middle part of the eye. And then you can add extra details uh, to get higher creativity points for this project like highlights and what I'm going to do now is select all of the parts of my eye and I'm going to arrange group and that makes them one item. Now I can change the size of this by pressing uh, shift and making it smaller. And then I can do control C, control V to copy and paste the eyes. You want the eyes pretty close to the middle of your face. And they're about one eye width apart. So you can check that by making an extra third eye. It's pretty creepy and then deleting it. And for the nose, I think using this curve tool works. So I click, click, double click to end it. And then you can change the weight of the line over here and you can change the color over here. You just want it to be a different color than your skin color. I think the curve tool works well for eyebrows also. So click, click, double click, and then change that color, change the weight, use the arrow tool to move it, control C, control V. Now what I can do is create a mirror image by going into arrange, rotate, flip horizontally, And then ears, I usually use that shape right there. And then kind of swivel it to rotate and you can play with the shape a little bit more. Change the fill color, change the outline. And then I'm gonna do the same thing where I control C, control V and then go to arrange, rotate, flip horizontally. And that's as far as we're going to go today. I'll show you the rest tomorrow. Okay, here's day two of the Google Draw self-portrait. So I'm gonna start with a mouth and I think you know, you could use a line for the mouth. You can use a few of these different shapes work pretty well. Here's this funny little rainbow shape. Uh, I'm gonna use this one right here. I'm gonna build it again bigger than I need it. And rotate it. And I'm gonna change the fill color. I'm gonna change the border color and I'm gonna change the border weight. And then add extra features like teeth
and I can even add a tongue. And then again, I want to group these shapes. And by pressing shift, I can change the size of them. And I can even add accessories like earrings. Uh, for hair, I like to use the curve tool. As long as you close the shape, you can fill it in. So start here. And I'm just clicking periodically because that'll change the direction of the curved line. And then I have to get back to where I started, double click to end it, and obviously I want to change that fill color, change the outline color. Um, one thing I can do also with my ears, if I want to bring those forward, I can do arrange, order, bring to front. And I lost my earring too, so click that one. Arrange, order bring to front. And that keeps the ears in front of the hair. I can add details in the hair um, with the curve tool or the scribble tool works really well too, just to create extra details. And then change that color give her some highlights. And you can add a few of those. And change the color of those also. And I'm going to add a neck today. I'm going to use this shape. I'm going to rotate it, change the color, change the outline color. I want to do arrange, order, send to back. And then I'm also going to add shoulders today. I'm going to use this shape. rotate it, and then I want to bring my hair forward, arrange, order, bring forward, uh, send this backwards, arrange, order, send backward. You might have to do that a couple times because there's a lot of different layers. There we go. And that's as much as we're going to do today. I'll show you the rest tomorrow. Okay, day three. So the first thing I'm going to do today is select everything that I have and group everything together. So arrange
I'm going to move it up a little bit and actually I'm going to ungroup it really quick and make this shirt a little bit bigger so I can show some decoration on it and then I'm just going to regroup it together. So to decorate my shirt I can do a few different things. I can use text and you can change the font and the size and the color and style just like you would with any other font. I can decorate it with shapes, any of these shapes. I can use um, the scribble or curve tool. I'm actually going to use the curve tool and I'm going to make some like paint splotches here. and fill that in with a different color. I'm going to do another one to and one more. So the next thing I want to do is put um, some accessories in. So I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to search for paintbrush PNG. You want whatever image you're using to have a transparent background. So I'm going to find one of these that I like. I'm going to save image. I'm going to go back into my Google Drawing. I'm going to go into Insert Image, Upload from Computer. It should say PNG. And then I've got my paintbrush. And I can rotate it. And maybe I want um, like a paint palette also. And I'm going to do the same thing, save image. Then insert image, upload from computer. And I'm going to press shift on my private. And I want a background, so I'm going to Google Art Studio. And I like this one right here. So I'm just going to copy image, I'm going to go back into my drawing, and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to resize it. And arrange, order, send to back. So that would be my completed drawing. I'm going to title it with my name and the word that I chose to describe myself. And then I will follow the directions to upload it to Artsonia.